Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, we'll have a look on the delete loops and align loops uh, options here. So delete loops generally deletes unwanted loops, which are making no, I mean, there's no use of those loops. Uh, even though you delete them, still your model will be intact and uh, delete loops will automatically clean up your mesh for you. Now in an organic shape, something like this, it may not of, uh, I mean, it will be of less user, but if you can generally take a model, something like that, and then when you make it a polymesh 3d and then when you go to the uh, delete loops uh, it will delete all that loops which are making no i mean uh, by i mean those loops are useless to define those shapes so it has deleted all that loops which are there here unless until if you're rigging it then that's i mean for modeling aspect those lines are not at all required so delete loops does that thing and uh, several parameters are there here which are really working uh, one is the angle if there is a change of the angle between one point to other point let's say if i am moving this vertex and there is an angle here and the angle you define here will generally try to protect those lines then delete those lines here okay so if i keep increasing this angle the amount of you know preserving that loops is you know more i mean uh, anything which is less than 55 has to be deleted okay so if i increase this to 90 still there's a cleanup there so you can generally try uh, cleaning up your model or delete unnecessary lines which are not making up the model and also sometimes your angle is going to define that the next thing is aspect ratio when i'm cleaning up you should be able to see this particular face uh, is non-square face and uh, what is the ratio is uh, if, if the width is one unit the height can go up to 25 units and that's the aspect ratio here so if i generally put the aspect ratio of one and delete loops okay it is trying to maintain that aspect ratio of one is to one but somehow it's not really showing up a result which i'm maybe expecting so uh, it is all about maintaining the width and height ratio of the face okay and uh, uh, we have a uh, uh, aligned loops okay Align loops uh, is almost like uh, delete loops. Delete loops was actually deleting the lines, whereas align will move the lines to, uh, you know, the loops will be existing, but it will show the model as if it was really deleted with that particular tolerance. So I'll just try to show you that in this model here. And uh, when I'm deleting the loops here, you should be able to see uh, those lines are gone. Okay. Here we have a lot of lines here. We have a lot of lines. Those lines are gone with the delete loops option. When I say align loops, the lines are not deleted, but whatever the result we have achieved in delete loops, that result is seen here. So the vertices moved to behave like delete loops. Uh, we have a, a groups option. So groups option is like when you are applying delete loops, it will make sure that the border of that uh, group is not touched or not deleted when you enable the groups option there we have partial what is partial is let's say if i have if i have uh, you know created a mesh which have loops which are partially connected how is that let's say if i am dynamishing this there are so many lines which are like starting somewhere and ending somewhere it's not a complete circle altogether now in that case when we generally do uh, get into the uh, partial option the lines which are partial are deleted okay again it's uh, not a complete uh, solution but it will remove that incomplete loops i can say so this these tools can be useful in you know uh, optimizing your model uh, with simple settings removing lines which are useless for modeling for the model um, and uh, align loops i don't really uh, see it's very useful but maybe it can help you somewhere